Mm, what's up guys? This is the Broken Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, the army I forgot about actually is marching on the only Russian colonial holding. They have Fort Charter in Upper Louisiana. They've got a, a stereotypical uh, colonial, colonially, colonially raised army here. So I don't think it should take, it shouldn't be too difficult to sweep aside. So let's just go straight in and take them out. They've got a significant portion of native bowmen. So that might be something to be to keep an eye on because they are likely not going to uh, reveal them until after action has been completed. However, let's not try and prejudice the outcome. Let's just try and smash them because again, we've got a lot of battles against Russia to complete before this campaign uh, can be called the done. It's because we're staying highly mobile. Got my foot artillery at the back, just to keep engaging. Steady line. Stretch my melee troops out roughly behind the line, but I have to worry about covering all of it. Because we do have quite a significant amount of cavalry. And let's make sure my kids will bash your cavalry with fire at will off. Good. So I'm going to say we want the high ground. We have to find where their native troops are hiding. Happy to let my artillery shoot at whatever targets they would lot they want to shoot at. curving around the flank because it looks like they are they are going to be in a position to get flanked Maybe both of you guys can stand to push up a little bit Musket fire. Now there's their native must their native um, their native musket troops. Why aren't you men allowed to run? There we go. There's their native bowmen. Get all my artillery to aim at the mounted pipe auxiliary to the rear. Yeah, this unit wasn't going to last long against two units of really good cavalry. To be honest, my artillery just ceased fire. Let's smash the cavalry ourselves. Looks like they want to charge up into melee, but they're probably not going to get that opportunity. Let's knock out this map of tribal auxiliary with our armoured cavalry. These bowmen are not going to stand very long. Nope, there they go. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Let's get you guys over here to make sure they shatter. These militia, uh, there we go, I was about to say, these militia are surprisingly resilient. All the artillery engage, this much tribal auxiliary unit. Now 
the new men form up against the new threat here. There's a bunch of cavalry start firing at will. Everyone engaged. Nah, damn, mounted tribal auxiliary unit. So they've only lost five men and they were already wavering. She can smack straight into those guys. Oh no, they're routing. Push up the line. Not long till these guys break. Redirect my artillery fire. Shells coming in. A load of their muskets didn't work. With our musket shots from the back. There we go. Smash them in the rear. And they are done. Oh, now it's the native Bowman Auxiliary that wants to stick around, eh? Yeah, I thought so. Good decision. Good decision. But we're not going to chase them down. The battle has already been won. Unless someone is hiding. Yes, there they are. Or well, someone's not... Not that they're hiding, they came back. Give them a volley. Ah, there's their general's unit. There we go. Good, 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 good. Sorry, I muted my 
microphone to clear my throat. So I realized all that didn't make any sense. But what I was saying was that they, their army has a a good proportion of, well, a significant proportion of cavalry and a significant, significant proportion of artillery. But that's pretty bad. Because once they commit their cavalry, which they have to, because their infantry can't, their infantry can't stay alive long enough to secure victory, so they have to commit the cavalry. And that means their artillery in the rear is going to be really exposed. I like this terrain, please. So, yeah. Okay. There's a Bashi, Hindu Musketeer. Gun team. Two units of troops. Deploy a seek warrior unit just to hold down that flank. Two Hindu Musketeer units. I've got one gun team spare who is probably quite suited to be up here. Let's give him a, a detachment of Kizilbashi plus dervishes to keep him alive. A reasonable amount of cavalry. But I've got Gurkhas I can deploy. Oh, I stole one of the Kizobashi units from over here. Okay, I may actually just deploy that gun back here. So I can keep more of my army together. It's not likely they're going to come charging around here. I can keep some dervishes back here just in case. You make it to play on the left, bring back the general. A lot of melee troops. Not ideal, my reinforcements are coming in right on their flank. Okay, a lot of cavalry on this flank. mass some of my melee troops on the right and these elephants can go away so we knocked out one of their howitzers I should let my artillery pound pound away I would like to get some cavalry in as my reinforcements it's a good unit of cavalry to sweep all those guns away actually what I might do is start to shoot at that's worked really well because it's committed it's caused them to commit their hussars That's what I want to see. Sipahi, thou sweep aside all of these guys. They may actually run all the way around. But that's why I've got I'll have a good detachment of heavy cavalry ready to meet them. I'm walking to get to allow their infantry to get away from the guns a little bit further. Commit. 
Flash to use that at commit. In which case the new guys are gonna commit. Get all my guns to shoot at that regiment of horse to try to provoke them into a suicide charge. Which has worked. Commit the dervishes in. Get my Gurkhas in against the household cavalry. But now they've decided to mount up, which means that they will fall a lot more easily. So the front, their reinforcements are coming in from back here. Got to ch charge there. You got to charge their light infantry, otherwise they'll get away. They get all of you against the household cavalry. Islamic swordsman against dragoons is fine. Getting cast a shot of the infantry. That's the general's bodyguard unit charging in. Bringing back Cossack infantry. Let's commit one of my own SPAC units into the battle afterwards. So then the dervishes get ready. Chief. One of my guys is going to run into the stakes. Oh, we managed to bounce off them there. Excellent. Get the Gurkhas back. Excellent, excellent. Ah, choose Pahi routing. Curses. So this foot unit begin to engage there. You guys round shot into that. Bolt block of troops there. You guys begin to round sharp. Other units, you men smash straight into the eighth, light foot. Getting the Hindu warriors up here. There we go, shatter them. Kill their gunners. See, that's what I didn't want to see. I didn't want to see. Ooh, those guys. Luckily, that quick climb did not do. Did hardly. Actually, didn't do any damage to my Hindu warriors. Let's bring my elephants up here as well. And come here to go after those gunners. Push some of my melee troops up the flank. Come on, you men. Hindu warriors should equalize this somewhat. So once you've chased my cavalry away, I 
charge into the rear of the line. It shouldn't make a huge difference because they're not actually being shot at very much from my line anyway. Kill the irregulars. Indian warriors, make it redeploy. You're not redeploying, just retargeting a different unit. some melee troops up here on the left. You men go after the regiment of horse. Let's just try and get them out of here. Excellent Hindu warriors. Withdraw. Chusky Regiment of Foot coming in. Okay, you've taken out there. Well, no, they haven't taken them out. You've just failed to pursue them. Still, they are running to the edge of the map. Oh, my cavalry still wandering about the place. The cavalry chase them down. Melee troops. You charge into the Batyorsky unit, you men pivot. Second foot guards have been engaged. Okay, there, Shakir, you men focus on the focus on the foot guards. You men limber up. You men limber up. I mean, my skirmishers are slight underdogs in this engagement, but they outnumber the enemy, so they should break first. You men don't hang about, all of you get in. Engaging the 94th. to General's bodyguard. I can get my artillery to start moving up, although they're probably going to be left behind. Kill some more of the guard musketeers. The, the gun that is still firing engaged the 140th. Ahadi! And all of you mob that last Russian unit. Keep killing them. There we go, now they're shattered. And the infantry form up here. Same with the melee troops. Gunners engaged the 140th. these two heavy cavalry units together. There you go, 
Yes, now we're picking away at the 140th. Get ready. You're going to have to get him. Fortieth is in very bad shape. Break you devils. Come on, you men, surround and destroy. Pounding the hell out of us with artillery. Let's ignore the, that engagement and keep advancing. Bring in the elephants. And there goes the militia. Shatter them. Cavalry storm up. Come on, cavalry, you men get to go after the artillery. They're shooting the hell out of us. These Kazabash units need to form up and surround the enemy. They've hit my cavalry line. I'm bringing in the elephants for support. There we go. They've collapsed on the field. Charge! You may not be enough to take out those dragoons, that's for darn sure. Because the Bashi units aren't slouches in LA combat, they'll stick around. Come on, cavalry. Here we are going to continue. It's not that, not that there's many left on the field. All my cavalry. Target this militia. All seven of them. So they're coming in from all directions. Let's cease fire the artillery just to make sure we don't get any friendly fire. Yeah, my Zamandari horsemen. You're going to catch them up first. Chomp, 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 chomp. Nice. That was quite a significant loss for the Russians. That was their main army group west, so to speak. And they've only got 1,198 left out of 4,457. My Sipahi, unsurprisingly, done a great job, but at a terrible cost. Yeah, better read. Better, you better run away quick before something bad happens. Ooh. Listen a second, guys. They picked the right moment where I'm taking my jumper off. Uh, do I want to fight that engagement? Maybe? Maybe. Well, no, no. 
Nope, the army behind me is just a bit weak. It's just... We've got a lot of troops here. So we can push out the main road to Moscow. We don't have to worry about um, rolls of the dice right now. Interesting that I've now got... Oh, I think it's because it's, it's... Okay, right. So, I got a weird announcement, which I don't think I should have got. But I couldn't click yes until the enemy, like now, where the gentleman is moving, I, that's the only chance I've got to interact. When it's frozen, like, when it's frozen still, I can't actually interact with the user interface. Yeah, they're falling back. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, New Spain. Your time will come. Your time will come. Come on, let me in, let me in. We've got, we got plenty to do. Plenty to do against the Russians. Nice. Oh, so I've... Yeah, so it's the game is a bit bugged. It's giving me... Building constructed in individual alerts. In some ways quite handy, in some other ways it would be very inconvenient if I had loads of stuff to build. Good. Good. Let's push. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about fighting them. Just hold, replenish, hop over to Europe. Get rid of all these building constructed, get rid of these raids and paths blocked. So, let's repair you. You're going to need a madrasa. Yes, you're replenishing, you're replenishing. I'm going to have to fight those manually so I don't damage all my armies. You're replenishing, you're recruiting your artillery, slash, is it? There it is. Oh, it's cavalry coming up. And then you men replenish. Let's plant two of these armies on the road to Moscow. You men are the ones that are going to go west. Then we're going to smash into this concentration troops here and send them flying. You're going to keep going towards this bridge to the north of Moscow. Bam! Oh. Try to take out the big cheese. Ah. You can come out and deal with them, those raiders. Your Majesty. You hold it, Kazan. Let this army come up to Ufa. I mean, effectively, we're not worried about trying to take Ufa. This army. You go straight on up towards Komi. We're going to push up to provide a threat to the east. Same with you. You're going to plug the gaps. So yes, I should just make my assassin just start trying to take out every general I can get his hands on. 
Well, I suppose that's the general we want to take out. Right, let's replenish you. You, you're being repaired. This army, to be honest. Get over here and let's recruit a bunch of Jebex. So we're going to start to want to just send armies over to the Americas. Such as you. Probably such as you, such as the Stockholm garrison. The Cologne garrison when they let us. Minus two. Theoretically just about possible, but let's not go mad. Although actually you're probably going to go here to add an extra front against Württemberg when that kicks off. Great, the farm. Right, so first of all, let's get the little little battle out of the way. Let's open our route northward. Actually, ooh, good. We're actually out of distance, so I can just auto resolve. Nice. So by the looks of it, you head south. Ooh, we were intercepted. There. Oh god, I <laughs> actually got a bunch of troops. Doesn't really matter. Yes, me, Lord. You then push up against Petrovskaya, yes. so we want one artillery. So we want one twenty-four pounder. We want call it four regular infantry. Uh, yeah, four regular infantry. One melee infantry. We can get this really somewhere around here. Oh, it took five turns to get here. No, good kids of actually. Three, four, plus one unit of fillet. Oh, fillet will take ages to get here as well. Dervish is even longer. Ah, screw it. So you men get to Petrovskaya. Spies push on, see what's about. You can probably just stomp on them. Yeah, they're very depleted. Yeah, the noose is tightening. Let's smash through to the east. I'm pretty sure you're a good a good number of our troops going to be in range. Or oh, actually, I want to use you because you're an interesting army. Bang! Let's go get them. And then all these troops in the west, a, a bunch are going to push on Moscow, but a, a good number of them are going to head up towards. St. Petersburg ready for passage to the Americas. Or maybe even... We may deploy a couple towards Britain just to make sure we overwhelm them rapidly. We've got three armies. Five would be preferable. Okay, so... Guns on the hill. Oh, come on, spread out properly, please. Oh, it's because you're bugged. That's why. Something like that. Group our mercenaries together on one plank. Put both of our 90 cavalry units together. Got our super Sipahi and some elephant musketeers together. A melee unit on each flank. Plus two melee units behind the lines. The bowmen just follow. Let's 
push up, also running. Yes, I had the engine cover guards, the Vibioni Streltsy. You can try hit my main line if you like, but my mercenaries can form a square, my swordsmen can come in. Ah, you're going after my Kizabashi. Good job, you are a rubbish mercenary cavalry. Ahadi, go after them. Swordsman in. Can you Sapahi annihilate the foot guards? Your cavalry guards go after the expat infantry just to knock them off balance. My Ahadi. Keep going after the Cossacks, they're already wavering after zero damage. Islamic swordsmen storm through. Sebastian attack the dragoons, the bowmen attack the dragoons. Mercenaries secure that gap. These mercenaries secure this gap. Reinforcing, reinforcing uh, quick climb shot. That's not very cricket. Be right. Let's rescind those orders. Push my infantry through the gap. Even go off the general's bodyguard. My elephant musketeers hold. My artillery focus on their three pounder horse. Except for the shorter range one. They focus on the unit of Ivioni Strozzi. Stakes to let my Islamic swordsmen deal with the enemy infantry, get my cavalry out wide. Boy, the musketeers against the hussars. Howitzers. Ooh, point blank trap or shot. That's spooky. They're under fire from my musket troops. And my super Sapahian against the Jimmy General. Stand this. Excellent. You men are still engaging enemy heroically. Killed the enemy general. Form the cavalry up ready to attack the next targets. Okay, we need to, we can't stop maneuvering. We want to always be trying to maneuver for that advantage. Group the cavalry. Artillery bombard infantry in the line. Ah, you men better quickly sweep up those hussars. We 
push my swordsman into the combat, push you men in. Send in the elephant musketeers, send in the Israeli. Surround and destroy this enemy force. The wrong unit. They're running through my Islamic swordsman unit, so we can take them out. Good, 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 good. Form new battle line. I'm gonna go after the light infantry. Melee reform that. Good stuff. Retarget the artillery. And we're going to push through into this corner. Cavalry push up. Flank. The heavy cavalry smashed into the 140th. This cavalry try push around. into the 59th. Then in my mercenaries to have a go as well. And my elephant musketeers are going to try and attack, try and kill this horse unit. There goes the enemy line. Just swarm. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Zero style, zero finesse, just swarm. Charge the Russian troops. A whole bunch of heavy cavalry plus Indian mercenaries. I don't think they're going to be too happy. Go get him. Maybe okay, then all of you just bowl straight on into that unit of guards. Everyone's going after this regiment of horse. Infantry, elephant, who gives a damn. And everyone on into the 15th regiment. He's looking pretty sharp, but I'm afraid he's just watching all of his friends die. Kill the horse artillerymen. So let's continue the engagement. It won't be long on for long. Kill as many infantry as you can. So I've been told that shattered on the campaign map means destroyed. The shattered on the battle map means 
they don't show up on the campaign map. I'm not entirely sure. The thing I can definitely guarantee is that Shattered means they never recover their morale and return to the fight. Either way, they've lost a crap load of men. 648 men remaining. Gurkhas did really well. My Sipahi done great. But now they've got 82 men. The curious thing is, will they recover to the 200 odd they were before, or will they now go to their new, their real normal of um, you know, 90 something? Four men through the gap. You can just find a whole lot of damage. Not that it really matters. We've got so many troops. It's just the end is inevitable for them. If you hit Xander or Alexander, oh, that doesn't get as many as I hoped. But I'll still take it. And again with a lot of damage, but to be honest, it does not really matter, especially when it's fairly unevenly distributed. You just mop them up. Oh, you went completely the opposite way, but then again, you were hidden in the trees. I didn't really know you were there. You leave Crimea. Minus six. They still really don't like us. To recruit some to Fangy to chase these guys down because they are just gonna. Um, she might just send you. She'll take you a few, quite a few turns to get there, but. Right, so you're ready to jump on Petrovskaya. Although you. Well, no, you're pretty knackered. You're going to take Petrovskaya, then head east towards Arkhangelsk. Unless you can start doing that. Yeah, you can. Actually, don't infiltrate anything. Just go spying. But yes, the, re the noose is tightening around Moscow. One more turn to be researched. Sheet metal cartridges. I didn't move all the armies I meant to move, but for example, this block of three here, they're probably all going to immediately just shift westward. And they can still bring some firepower to bear. Question is... Let's... I want to pick a battle on my, on my terms when I go for the city. That's uh, not so bad either, because this army is at full strength. So if we, if this army gets taken out, which it may do, because it's a bit vulnerable. Well, looking at the timer, this is going to be, <laughs> it'll be a long battle. So yeah, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another action against a large Russian force. Cheers, everyone.